So we're going to continue on to 3.4. I strongly recommend you read about tokens. Tokens are basically uh, single pieces of uh, input, either words or numbers generally, separated by spaces or punctuation. Uh, we're going to look at uh, 3.4 and we're going to make this new program. Now in this one, they don't give us all the code. They don't give us the, uh, the class name here. So I'm just going to copy these three lines and they need to go inside public static void main. So let's go ahead and paste them over here. Highlight all, control A, alt shift F to format. Now if I run this, uh, you're not going to see anything because there's no print. So it's going to say build successful, good job, but it's not very informative. All right. Uh, so what we'll do, get these next two lines in. Uh, you can also format yourself by just hitting the tab key a couple times. Um, if you have a keyboard that has home and end, that's very useful if we're going the beginning and the ending of a line. Uh, you can do uh, control left and right. We'll skip words instead of just single characters. All right, so we're going to print out. Notice this is not a print out n. So when I run it, it's going to print that and the cursor is going to be on the same line. Now this time in is that scanner just like we saw before but instead of doing next line we're going to do next int which hopefully you can guess what this is going to do instead of grabbing the next line it's going to grab it's going to try to grab an integer. So let's go ahead how many inches let's go two. Uh, now we got a problem. So uh, let's try to scroll this out. Input mismatch exception. That's probably the most useful thing on this error right here. So what do you think happened? We're trying to get an ints and what I actually got was really a string. So let's go ahead and run it again. How many inches? Now let's go an actual integer value of two. Okay, no problem it ran, but of course we didn't see anything. So let's go ahead, copy some more of this code, paste it in here. Let's see, sometimes pasting from a PDF can be very ugly. You're not allowed to, oops, you're not allowed, to, I started a string here and you're not allowed to, to continue on the next line. It's gotta be all on the same line like that. Uh, we don't need those spaces. All right, and we'll just tab this over. All right, so it's going to take our inch value, and what this line does is going to set the value of cm equal to the inch value times that number, which is how many inch, uh, centimeters in an inch. That's going to print out inches and centimeters right here. So we're actually going to see some output this time. Uh, we'll do two inches, and two inches is 5.08 centimeters. So that is good. Um, now, just reading on some more here, because that number is not changing, we could make it what's called final, right there. Now let's go ahead and drop that. Final means I'm going to set the value and I'm not going to change it. And now the centimeters per inch we'll use right here. And that just lets you, uh, maybe if we were doing uh, miles uh, converting to kilometers, I would change this, well, I changed the name too, uh, miles per km or km per mile, depending on which way I'm going, and of course change the value, but this way it lets you uh, use this value over and over again. Maybe if I have to make 10 conversions, I don't have to keep typing in 2.54 because at some point I might mess up and do 2.34 and then have some problems later on.